too far from now, uh, international bestseller, not just national, you know, ah. because she has a uh, very theatrical appeal, and I see this. Yeah, she does. Thing she really out. does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But talk about being a publisher. How well, publish being a publisher, so, so yeah, I'm sorry, I digress. <laughs> 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 With the hopes of coming back to what we were talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, once I take on a project, uh, we, uh, I, I meet with the author and negotiate a, um, a deal, a two-book deal. If you're, if you're a fiction um, writer, <coughs> if you write novels, um, more than likely you'll be getting a two-book deal or a three-book deal. Um, publishers will not take the chance of investing their um, money um, into a author who's just looking to have a one book deal. And there are many authors out there who wants to just get one book deal, and they don't really understand the business side of things because to launch a person's career, especially if they're writing fiction, mm-hmm. it doesn't happen with the first book. It usually takes the second, third, or even the fourth book before um, an author's career is actually launched, especially if it's non I mean, especially if it's um, fiction. Now, if it's a non-fiction book, um, that's a totally different subject matter, totally different, um, um, totally different audience, totally different market, and those books can be accepted as a one-book deal. But, uh, but what I'm trying to understand, how do you even become a publisher? Oh, easy. You say, um, easy. I want to put the money in, to I, I make the full investment. I'm spending. It's. I'm not asking. I'm not the type of publisher uh, that uh, says, "Well, you have to pay me a certain amount of money to publish your book." I put the investment in. Mm-hmm. I take all the financial risk, and I pull together the resources to make the um, the the book successful. When I and from a pub, from a published uh, perspective, being successful mean, meaning is that. The book is not only in, um, published in this particular format, but it's also being sold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so you know, the book sales are being uh, are actually taken off. But um, so I don't do everything that's required to actually publish a book. Meaning, edit. I am an editor, so I do take part in the editing process. Um, I'm not a graphic designer, so I don't design a book cover. I contract someone that does that. I'm not a um, uh, book designer. I don't do the interior layout. I contract someone to do the interior layout. Um, I also work with other editors and proofreaders to help perfect the, the writing. Um, and then um, I work with others to help me with promoting and marketing. And also I work with the author as well. Uh, another key thing is that publishers want the author to be involved with the promoting and marketing of the book. It helps uh, the, the publisher a lot if they have an, a person that they're working with who can um, do speaking engagements, do book signings, do touring uh, to help with the promoting and selling of the book. So being a publisher basically sends, I want to publish the book, and how do I publish the book? I go out and try to, well, I went to um, a school, City College of New York, for uh, book publishing. And that taught me a lot about mainstream publishing. When I first started out in book publishing, it was about 2003, and I went in head first, not knowing much about the business, and it uh, turned out to be a costly experience. Um, everything that could go wrong went wrong. Um, and then about, um, i say about three years later, after publishing three books that, di- that wasn't very successful um, financially, um, I said, I need to go back to school and learn what am I, what am I doing wrong. So then I, I went to a publishing program that they offer at City College of New York, completed that program with a 4.0, and then got, did an internship with a literary agent, and then I did an internship with a, a major publishing company in New York, um, and realized that I had what it takes to, um, to do this. Um, I was just lacking certain knowledge, certain resources to really pull it together. And then I managed to um, get a opportunity to actually uh, help an um, author create her own independent publishing company. And then that really actually did it for me, whereas though I was in a position, whereas though I was actually running um, her publishing company. And then I decided at, at that point, okay, I need to do what I want to do, and which is create my own independent publishing company. Okay. Um, the reason why I really wanted you to talk about it 
for a couple of things. One, I mentioned earlier that you volunteer for Creative Spirits and teaching children about writing. That's correct. And not only did you teach them about writing, but you expose them to the cultural things in life. Mm -hmm. And most recently, you taught a workshop for Creative Spirits about publishing. That's correct. But m more important, you are a young man who actually came from what you call the ghetto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? and, uh, <laughs> I didn't know it was the ghetto. I yeah. thought everybody lived like that. Yeah, you know, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you turn on the TV. Right? Yeah. And so I went to Montclair State and I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. But you know, it's good to have my listening audience to see the success of hard work. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't have all this here money, but you had to invest yourself into this. And they need to see when you make these type of sacrifices, mm -hmm. what you can do. You know, and our audience need to see that not only did you wasn't just looking at yourself all during this time and during your hardship, you was volunteering, teaching children, showing people how to do things. And in the meantime, still going through your hardship. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now today, you know, you becoming more a professional person. You know, you don't have a whole lot of money yet, but you have good merits. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's with that you could go so far. And our youth you. today <coughs> really need to be able to know what they can do. I mean, even though you don't have a lot of money, you have the merits and you're enjoying life because this mm -hmm. is a part of life. It's so, true. you know, you are a good example of what can happen, you know. You grew up, was raised, and from here to there, you mm -hmm. wouldn't have just that wholesome life, or what you call it, around the, uh, the Ozzy Davis type lifestyle. Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't have that. Sometimes you didn't know when your next meal or where you was going to lay your head. That's true. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know me very well. Huh? Yes, I know you very well. Very well. But, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a public record. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I, I, I'm really so proud of you. You know, I'm, you. I'm really, really. I've been angry with you plenty of times, but I always felt it was so something valued there. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that I still friends with you after all these oh, years. Come on, give me something. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> so sweet. I love you. Yeah, Should we leave, Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> I think they need to be a mom. Uh, uh, we need a I moment. I want to ask you a question, Jackie. Um, this is your actually your first novel that you wrote. Do you plan to do more or are you plan to do a part two of Deception? I definitely plan to do more writing and I am <coughs> in the process of writing Deception too. Uh -oh. Because the the feedback that I I initially didn't plan to write a deception to, but the feedback that I've been getting from the readers, like, oh, what happened? Well, when part two coming out, <coughs> and I'm like, part two. Mm -hmm. So, part two. yeah, well, I gotta you, give the fans what they want. Could you just give sure. the uh, the audience just a little bit who the characters are, and just a little bit? We want to be curious to want to know more. Maybe go out and publish Especially the book. <laughs> well. The part two will have the same characters, and it's a specific character in there. Her name is Casey. She's um, the, one of the main characters, the male character's uh, ex-girlfriend. She will play a bigger part in part two, because in, this, in, in the first deception, she had a very small role. She really wasn't even physically there. She was there by mention, but she physically was not in the book, but she would physically be in part two. She makes okay. her debut. Yes, she does. She's, she's bringing, she's well. bringing the drama. Okay. <laughs> Do you see yourself making a movie out of this? Um, well, I, I get that question a lot. After, after most people read the book, they're like, wow, this seemed like a Tyler Perry type movie. Mm -hmm. you know? They're like, are you, you going to make this a movie? Like, or oh, when deception a movie coming out? I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. Like, well, um, I plan to work on um, some screenplay, um, hopefully in the near future. Because I'm in school and, and I work and I teach, so mm -hmm. it's my schedule is like it's very hectic right now. But I I do plan in the near future to start working into deception into a screenplay, and hopefully someone will pick it up. Mm -hmm. Someone will. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. because you know I really like I said it's a soap opera. Because mm -hmm. I'm wondering, you know, what happens? I just want to just give a little bit about it. it was about this here girl who's happily married. 
and uh, she's going to celebrate her wedding anniversary with her husband, who she loves him so dearly. And she has a girlfriend, a very good friend, but she doesn't like her girlfriend ways because she's always going with somebody else's husband. And at the same time, she's going with this, her best friend husband. Mm -hmm. And her husband is saying that, oh, I got a late client tonight. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it's supposed to be celebrating the anniversary. <laughs> You know, she happened to be going by, is that his car? And she was slick, and she got inside that hotel room, and she was tearing some butts there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and then it tells, you know, how she overcame that, because she found out that the girl was, well, he found out the girl was pregnant, he couldn't stand her, and... <laughs> Then, you know, then, then you got the mafia involved in here because he was a big-time lawyer and they needed him for different things. Oh, I mean, the book is really, <laughs> you know, then the doctor. You don't need to buy it. Not the whole story. Not the whole story. That isn't the whole story. Not no, the whole not. pieces. It's it's so, pieces. It's not it's much more. Let's just go for Let's just stop right there. Well, like, <laughs> you don't need to buy the book. <laughs> but, but, but then when you get to the last page, well, not the actual last page, the way, like I said, it ended, mm -hmm. it teaches people not to let things like that just destroy them. Yeah. I'm not going to actually say how she did it, mm -hmm. but you really need to learn uh, to read that for that purpose. Mm -hmm. Because so many of us allow the, someone who deceives us to break our hearts. Mm -hmm. You know, and we wind up go to our grave with a broken heart. Definitely. But the character in this book did not allow that to happen. She almost did, but she came out of it. Mm -hmm. And that's one reason I ask us women, <laughs> as it happens to men too, good for her. <laughs> 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 if, if this is racist or something? No, no. <laughs> but then about, uh, at the end, you had this about this guy, you had this uh, dis uh, discussion questions. And that was very, very good to have because it gives you a lot of input mm -hmm. and what you want. You know, it's good people can call and let you know what they feel about the book and give you a few ideas. Mm -hmm. Now, also, excerpts from Daddy Don't. Is that something? Excerpt, else? Ex excerpt from Daddy Don't. Um, it was a, a project that um, Jackie uh, was um, considering doing until we got all the feedback from mm -hmm. Deception. And we had to put this on hold. Yeah, so that's that'll be a future. Uh, yeah, because yeah, that's future. a very interesting story. <laughs> yeah, it is. That relates to serious issues in today. Yeah. yeah. So it was. It wasn't. Uh, it's, the book is not a myth. Mm -hmm. I think we all gonna be able to relate to it. Oh yeah. And we could all learn from it. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate that. And again, getting back into the publishing part, is New House Publishing? In-house publishing. In-house yeah, publishing. As in, in as in Nancy's. So okay, well, you put together such a beautiful package in promoting this particular book. Yeah. Okay, and you a beautiful picture of mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and then you got a, the, what is it, the bookmarks, bookmarks mm -hmm. in it. So you really know about publishing. You know how to sell and make it look good, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm a good student, so I was, yeah. I was trained well, you know? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. And then on, on this team, you have a list of some of the other books? That we have uh, coming out, yeah. Uh, okay. Right. I like what you do here, son. I really like it very much. Thank you very much. Okay. You know, you educate yourself very well. You used to be into filming. 